Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Washington Mystics in this one as they go up against the Atlanta Dream. Coming to you from the beautiful city of Atlanta, I'm Blake Suniga. Joining me courtside are Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. This is an important game in the Commissioner's Cup. Both teams have a shot to make the final. And that adds another layer of excitement to this one. A regular season game with extra importance. Each squad very much alive in the cup race. Now Hayes. Down low. Parker. First shot, first basket. He is out of the blocks fast. Bringing hustle and heart to the court. Parker has become indispensable for her team. Pass to Austin. Cloud. Now here's Clark. Shot clock at six. Della Don. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. As intelligent as anyone in this league with the ball. Clark, I mean, she's always going to find the open teammate. Going all in. That was the 2K drive, and it's well worth a second look. And that's exactly what a coach loves to see in a close game. Put your head down, make something happen. Now here is Hayes. Pass to Howard. Parker with the screen. Shoots over Austin. Parker's shot's good. Quick and agile. Parker can do damage in the pick and roll. Loud outside. Now Deladon. Score the basket. Her second of two attempts. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. The dream on offense. Pass to Billings. Outside Howard. Eleven feet out. Cheyenne Parker again. Off to a nice start. They've hit all three from the field. Now about two minutes gone by in the first quarter. The inaugural season of the Washington Mystics? Well, that would be 1998, as they were one of two expansion teams in the second season of the WNBA. Now, here's Clark. Dream foul. Monique Billings. First personal foul, team's first. First team foul. Now, here's Cloud. Pass to Atkins. Four on the shot clock. Della Don. And it's Billings with the rebound. And for the 98 Mystics, basketball-wise, there's no way around it. They struggle. Yeah, they win a league-worst 3-27. However, you know, the legacy of that year for Washington, and way more importantly, the Mystics fans leading the WNBA in attendance, building what we've seen to be, over the years, a fantastic fan base. Now here's Della Don. Back to Cloud. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Three of four from the floor to start, and that's a good sign. And here are the dream. And here's McDonald. Outside Parker. Howard up top. Outside Hayes. Over Atkins. He clings that one off the back iron, and it falls. It's the lefty. Hayes ready to shoot the moment she gets the pass. Clark outside. Pass to Deladon. There's the three. Here's Austin. Drops in the layup for two. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Outside Parker. And here's Ryan Howard from the arc. Buries the long range jumper. Well, Howard is a skilled three-point shooter who has worked very hard to develop her consistency. Loud outside. And here's Ariel Atkins outside. Nailed from three-point land. Three's going down quickly at both ends. 
What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Pass to Howard. Parker with the screen. And out of bounds, the Mystics will take it. Mystics ball. And here's Washington. Cloud with it. Pass to Austin. And here's Atkins. She's guarded by Hayes. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Here's McDonald. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Excellent defense there from Elena Deladon. Clark outside. Atkins. Pass to Cloud. For three. And it's Hayes with the rebound. And Atlanta has possession. And here's McDonald. Billings. For three, Ryan Howard. That's a miss. She's made one and missed one. Della Don, guarded by Howard. Here's Cloud. Second shot opportunity, and she sinks the layup. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. And the dream call time here. Charles with it. Heinz Allen's there. Outside Wheeler. He lobs up the alley oop pass. Jones outside. Up top, Walker Kimbrough. That one doesn't drop, and it's Atlanta the other way. Now Wallace. Out to Charles. Wheeler. The dream again can't hit. On four years of college basketball, Erica Wheeler averaged just about seven points per game. Undrafted out of school, Wheeler's game has translated really well to the WNBA. The dream trail. Outside Charles. Back to Wheeler. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's the pick. Kept 
alive by Atlanta. Charles. A good looking shot from the wing. Here's the Mystics with the ball. Outside, Heinz Allen. Pass to Williams. And here's Walker Kimbrough. Screen by Austin. Walker Kimbrough misses. And Erica Wheeler, her scoring average has gone up in the WNBA. Well, she's also been top 10 in the league in assists. And really some players like Wheeler, when they get to the pro game, they thrive because it's more of an open game and it's played at a quicker pace. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. Jones outside. Here's Hines Allen. It's rebounded by Atlanta. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Here's Charles. Here's Vaughn. The shot goes down, and it gets this game back to even. Crash the boards with purpose right there. Some hard-earned second-chance points. Outside, Heinz Allen. Pass to Williams. Jones outside. Heinz Allen with it. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Charles. Now Vaughn. Oh, and she misses the go-ahead basket. Outside, Heinz Allen. Pass to Williams. Jones. Here's Walker Kimbrough. The shot goes in. First of the night, she is one for three to start the contest. Fantastic trip down the floor. Jones worked it to a wide open teammate. And here is Wallace. Now Vaughn. Outside Charles. Pass to Wheeler. Now Vaughn. Guarded by Austin. The three-pointer off the mark. And it's Vaughn with the rebound. And here is Wallace. Shoots over Jones. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Mystics ahead, up by two. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. getting underway no team gaining an edge so far and for the mystics guys what jumps out to you stat wise i like what we're seeing for them going right at the basket tons of points down there in the paint they've been the aggressor early attacking the hoop and getting in the paint the mystics leading hawkins outside walker kimbrough Pass to Deladon. Williams sets the screen. Tries again. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. Really a different background than most. Uh, Elizabeth Williams is born in England. She went to high school in Virginia, and she's become a great WNBA player. Not only is this a key regular season game, it also weighs heavy in the Commissioner's Cup standings. Yeah, each of these squads has a chance to get into the final. It is a must win if you're talking about the cup race. And the first one falls for her. Well, in terms of Atlanta, the future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Howard is a dynamic player. And 
and so she hits both. And for the dream, Ryan Howard hit the ground running in her rookie season. In her first week in the WNBA, Ryan Howard was the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. It had been 20 years since a rookie won the honor in their opening week. From the jump, Ryan looking like a franchise-level player. Now here's Howard. And good that time. Tough distance. But you know what? Howard can hit it with ease. Now here's Atkins. No one on her, and she makes him pay. She didn't hesitate to take it right up against a much bigger defender. And you gotta like that fearless, aggressive attitude. I just love it, Brian. Now here's McDonald. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Parker. Howard. The shot. Good as the jump shot falls. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Cloud with it. Outside Atkins. Shoots the three. The three-pointer is on target. A dynamic and efficient distance shooter. Atkins has established her perimeter presence. Outside Parker. Howard. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Tiana Hawkins with some nice D. Cloud outside. Outside Atkins. Six to shoot. Unloads. Howard with the rebound. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. Parker. Outside McDonald. Pass to Hayes. Three-pointer. Tries to save it. The shot, no good. So it's Washington now. To the middle. Here's Atkins in the basket for the fourth time from the field, and she is a healthy four for six. Yeah, I've heard some say that Atkins has arrived ahead of schedule in this league, and I would say that her refined and radiant mentality is pretty rare for players her age. Here's Billings. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Just five to shoot. Parker. Rebounded by the Mystics. And in this second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Deladon. Cloud with it. Howard's there. Here's Deladon. And Washington again with the bucket. He's really settled into a nice groove offensively in the second quarter. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards. Would you believe me, Tim, if I told you now it's above 50%? Well, of course that way. That's what the monitor says. And I'm an honest man, too. Here's Billings. Pass to Howard. Shot to stop the drought. Elizabeth Williams pulls it in. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Now here's Hawkins. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, nine. Here's Williams. And she can't extend the lead to double digits. The first overall pick of the 2022 draft back in April of 2022. Ryan Howard hit the ground running. During her first week, Howard was the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Here's Billings. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Here's McDonald. No good on the three. And with Ryan Howard, she had no trouble adjusting to the lead. Yeah, I think Howard's size really helps her out because she's 6'2", playing at the guard spot, and she's a tremendous athlete. Plus, you look at her three-point shots, it has really translated from the college level. Well, you look back at the 2019 Mystics team, and they certainly etched their place in history with the WNBA title.
the first Washington team to win it all. It all came to fruition after they had a league best 26 and 8 record in the regular season. That 2019 Washington team was dominant, setting a league record for offensive rating. Just about 116 points per 100 possessions, a scoring machine that led the league in shooting. And on the individual side of things, Elena Deladon, MVP back in 2019 as well. And the dream call time here. Six making a change here. Here's Wheeler. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Outside Howard. Screen by Coffee to halt the run. Unable to get that one to go, so the Mystics will take it the other way. Eladon outside, up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. You know, she's not going to force anything on offense. Austin plays within the flow of the game, takes smart shots. Here's Wallace. The dream again can't hit. Really tough for this club right now. Trying anything to stop the run. And no matter what they try, it doesn't work. Gotta slow it down and just get back to the basics and the fundamentals. Well, Shakira Austin grew up in Fredericksburg, Virginia, just a bit south of Washington, D.C. So I imagine she was pretty thrilled to be drafted third overall by the Mystics. down the first one and Austin of course going to the Mystics in the 2022 draft a great situation for her oh and she hit the ground running in DC an old school 6-5 center Austin had a double double in her second career game expect Austin to pile up the boards for years to come so she gets them both another trip to the stripe forum and a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter a little more banging and that's serving them well seeking out contact and putting pressure on the defense now here's charles here's wheeler and she's good on the three ball shooting a lot more threes here in the second and given their percentages i'm not sure what they're doing they've struggled to connect from outside clark with it guarded by charles watches it to Walker Kimbrough. Off the mark there with the three. The dream on offense. Trailing by 13. Right side Charles. Shoots over Clark. That one wide left. 
Jones with it. Fires for three. Yes, and it's Shakira Austin picking up the assist. Always ready to fire. Jones locked in off the pass. Up top, Wheeler. Covered by Walker Kimbrough. Wheeler, good. Was not faced at all by the bigger defender on her. And in the low block, I thought she might be a little faced. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be her comfort zone. But hey, she uh, she looked pretty comfortable right there, didn't she? Clark can't hit. Outside Charles. Pass to Vaughn. To the right side, Wallace. No good with the triple. Now here's Austin. Walker Kimbrough with it. Guarded by Wheeler. And the basket by Walker Kimbrough. Nice dish from Austin. What a team player. The dream on offense. It's a 16-point game. Here's Wallace. Guarded by Jones. Here's Vaughn. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. It's on Shakira Austin. First team foul. In terms of the history of the Atlanta Dream, they went 4-30 and 30 in their expansion season back in 2008. However, the good news, they won the lottery for the 2009 draft. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls, and winning that 2009 lottery meant that the Dream could select Angel McCautry with the first overall pick. Yeah, Angel helped turn things around quick in the ATL. In her first season, the Dream went to the playoffs. In her second season, Atlanta was in the WNBA Finals. McCautry really is the greatest player in Dream history. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Well, with how good the Mystics have been lately, it's kind of hard to believe that they really struggled over the years. From 2003 to 2016, Washington didn't win a single playoff series for 14 straight seasons. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket for a terrific assist. You know, they've done a lot of that today. And you know, it's something we haven't seen much at the opposite end of the court. Now here's Charles. Foul call that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw. First personal foul, teams first. With the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. That's some old school defense, just telling them no easy layup. It's as simple as that, and I like to see it. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Despite a lot of losing over the years, Washington still had incredible support. Yeah, you got to give it up for these fans. The Mystics led the league in attendance 10 of their first 14 seasons. And, of course, those fans have been rewarded. What a run Washington has had of late. A lot of success. And she makes both free throws. They're really battling, guys, not sitting back, attacking when they have the chance. And I like their approach, playing aggressively and forcing the officials to make a call. Now here's Jones. Sinks the three-pointer. After going scoreless in the first, she's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. Pass to Wallace. Wheeler. Ooh, no luck on that one. And it's the Mystics taking it the other way. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but, hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Now here's Heinz Allen. A 17-point lead, and it's their biggest. Clark can't hit. And so here's Atlanta. Here's Wallace. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Charles, she's covered by Clark. There's a screen. 
Let's it go from deep. Charles with the bucket. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now, here's Walker Kimbrough. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Two points. That one goes in. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. Here's Wheeler. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Mystics ahead, up by 16. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. In the second half, first half wasn't even close, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started. One of the stories here, Atkins getting it done today. Well, she created a lot of good shots for herself in the first couple of quarters, and she knows when to pass up on the tough ones. Good shot selection. And that led to a very high points per shot number for her, and that's a stat that really tells you how efficient the player has been. Well, it's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. Now Cloud, outside Atkins, fires from deep. A rebound by Ryan Howard. Well, there are so many things that players like to do to unwind. But what if I told you that Ryan Howard loves to draw and that painting cartoon characters is her favorite? Now here is Hayes. Here's Parker. Yes, and a nice assist from Tiffany Hayes. Never one to set limitations on her abilities. Parker is working on her ability to stretch the floor. Here's Clark. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. On the wing, Natasha Cloud. Clock at six. Zach to Clark for three. Here's Deladon. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. They're scoring, not, not car loads, not van loads, boat loads, big boat loads of buckets at the rim today. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get that ball in close time after time. Howard misses. And one of the brightest young stars in the league, Ryan Howard. Howard, just so many off-the-floor talents. In addition to, to painting, Howard loves to crochet. Yeah, I mean, she plays the piano, creates graphics. So Ryan Howard, just a, a brilliant player and a brilliant person. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Now here's McDonald. Pass to Parker. Howard. Parker with the screen. From past the arc. And Clark pulls it down. And here's Washington. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Here's Cloud. Here's Austin. Makes it off the glass. Boy, not a lot of resistance inside, and they're taking advantage. That aspect of this game, uh, the, you know, the play and the paint, has gone almost entirely their way. Absolutely. Now here's McDonald. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. To the paint. Pass to Deladon. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's on Cheyenne Parker. 
When you foul Deladon in the act of shooting, you're kind of just giving up points. She's over a 90% career shooter at the free throw line. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. First free throw is good. Back in 2019, Elena Deladon climbed the final mountain in her WNBA career, winning a title, delivering Washington their first championship ever. He's perfect from the line this time. 2019 was an incredible season for Elena Deladon. Yeah, and it wasn't just the title. I mean, individually, Deladon became the first WNBA player to ever shoot 50, 40, 90. She was over 50% from the field, 40% from three, and 90% at the line. Just crazy for someone who's 6'5". She gets it in there. Great trip down the floor. McDonald working it to an uncovered player. Smart basketball. Loud outside. Outside Atkins. And she was camped there in the lane. And she gets the three second call. A difficult situation for Atlanta. Outside Hayes. Nice move. Second chance shot. And the shot count. He's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. A gritty player who gives 110% effort whenever she's out on the court. Hayes just does not quit. And she's got her first opportunity at the line here tonight. And the free throw, no good. Before the 2021 season, the dream had an ownership change. A welcome, fresh start for Atlanta. Screen by Deladon. Pass to Cloud. Beyond the arc. The Mystics again can't hit. And so here's Atlanta. Trailing by 17. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it would help the communication between the current roster and management. Now here's Cloud. She has six. Deladon outside. And that comes off the assist by Natasha Cloud. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Outside Parker. Pass to Hayes. Right here, right here. Outside McDonald. Back to Hayes. Just five on the clock. And she banks in the layup. Possesses uh, unique capabilities. Hayes simply commands respect when she's got the ball in her hands. Now here's Hawkins. Deladon outside. Pass to Williams. They get the rebound. The third shot of the possession finally falls for them. Like she's on a pogo stick. Williams up for the board, down a moment, then up for the points. What energy! And the dream call time here. Oh, one of the biggest trades in league history. Chicago sending Elena Deladon to Washington back in 2017. The Mystics gained an MVP and changed the course of their franchise.
Out to the wing. Here's Wallace. Guarded by Jones. Here's Vaughn. Soft touch off the glass. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, they've come from inside the paint. Now here's Jones. She's got six. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. The floater. Six on the shot clock. Top of the key. And Washington again with the bucket. And here is Wheeler. She has five. Now Wallace. Charles with it. Three-pointer. Not going to go that time. Now here's Jones. She's got eight. Off target from the baseline. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Inside. And that one's good. Coffee. Well, that's when Coffee can do the most damage. When she's working inside, she has a deep bag. And no lack of aggression on that move. And that's good enough for the 2K drive. Well, I mean, to be honest, they've got a long way to go. But attacking the rim, never a bad idea. Now, here's Heinz Allen. Pass to Hawkins. Jones outside. Walker Kimbrough. Shoots over Wheeler. Walker Kimbrough misses. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Here's Wallace. And she uses the glass on the layup. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Now, here's Heinz Allen. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Side Williams. Jones outside. Goes back up. She can't get that one. And it's Atlanta the other way. Outside Wheeler. There's a screen. To the inside. Gone. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. First personal foul, teams first. Second team foul. And this is her third and fourth free throw attempts of the game here. Two shots. And the first one drops. Both good at the line. Walker Kimbrough with it. Six points for her. Jones outside. Williams the screen. This one for three. Drops in the tray. The three-point shot of Jones, it's tremendous. I mean, she's got a great release, and there's a nice arc on it. Pass to Wallace. Now Charles. The three. And Hawkins pulls it down. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Uh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebound, and it sets a tone. Now here's Charles. Seven points in the game. The three ball. No good there. Those have been some, some terrible shot choices, Blake. Uh, that was not good at all. 
Here's Jones. Gets it to go from downtown. These defenders better start closing down their shooters. Yeah, that's two straight from long range. Outside Charles. Coffee. Here's Wallace. Pass to Wheeler. Launches a three. Drills the three-pointer. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. Now Walker Kimbrough. Six points for her. Out to the left wing. Three-pointer Heinz Allen. That one misses. Would have counted had it gone. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The Mystics on top. Up by 15. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. Well, I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. And with the accuracy to go along with that vision, she put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That is how you orchestrate. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Now here's McDonald. Pass to Hayes. Let's go with a three. She can't get it to go. And it's the Mystics taking it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Elena Deladon for three. And it's Hayes with the rebound. Now here's McDonald. She's covered by Cloud. And McDonald gets it to go. Fantastic body control by McDonald. Absorbing the contact. And here's Atkins. Pass to Austin. Now to Atkins. Takes the three. Yes, and it's Shakira Austin picking up the assist. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Now here is Hayes. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Parker with the screen. Here's Howard. And Atlanta, another bucket. With good size for the guard position, Ryan Howard is able to use that size to stretch the floor. Pass to Deladon. Deladon a screen. Now here's Cloud, guarded by McDonald. Cloud can't get it to go. McDonald. Here's Coffey. Deladon covering. And the foul called on Cloud. That is her first foul of the game. Team foul. Substitution on the court. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Billings lays it up and banks it in. That rebound in the follow, it shows you what she's all about. Ready, determined, and a soft touch to match. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Atkins. Now here's Austin. Deladon outside. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. And here's Hayes. Now Billings. Here's Parker. Outside McDonald. Now Billings. Five to shoot. Outside Howard. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. She's still looking for her first three-pointer of the second half after hitting just one three-pointer in the first half. Outside. Cloud outside. 
The three is up. The Mystics again can't hit. Uh, okay, look, look. I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. Now here's McDonald. And stolen by Atkins. They need this. It's rebounded by Atlanta. Howard with the ball. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. The shot off that time. Excellent defense there from Elena Deladon. Pass to Cloud. Atkins with it. Back to Cloud. Clock at six. Kicks it out to Deladon. That one's good. And so Natasha Cloud gets the assist. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. They should all have the green light. And Ariel Atkins picks up the foul. That's her first foul. Here's Howard. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And Howard continues to deliver on the offensive end. The defense is lost. They don't know what to do. Pass to Deladon. Basket made. And that gives her seven field goals and 13 tries. She's their go-to scorer. And when she shoots the ball like she has today, that is what the scoreboard usually looks like. Now here's Parker. Up top, McDonald. Tiffany Hayes on the wing. Five on the clock. 20 feet out. And she can't bank that one in. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Here's Austin. Pass to Deladon. Clark. Screen by Deladon. Now Clark. Natasha Cloud from outside. And another three for Washington. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. A bunch of threes falling for them. And they might as well keep going back to the well. Work that perimeter while they're hot. And work it to the final whistle. Here's Billings. Pass to Howard. From deep. And Clark pulls it down. Down low. Inside. That's a basket. It's her eighth from the field. Eight for 14 on the night. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Here's Billings. Pass to Howard. To the paint. Here's McDonald. And she floats it in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. That's some good awareness from Howard right there. She is excellent at getting the ball to her open teammates. Alicia Clark on the wing. Here's Della Don. And she drops in the layup Della off Dawn. glass. It's hard to find fault with anything she's doing this quarter. Well, offensively at least. Pass to Parker. Outside Hayes. Outside McDonald. The shot will not fall. Great D that time from Natasha Cloud. Now here's Della Don. Della Don a screen. Clark outside. Cloud guarded by McDonald. Six to shoot. Della Don gets the bucket. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Here's Billings. Help me out. Help me out, 
Pass to Hayes. Over Atkins. And it's Hayes missing. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And here's Washington. And here's Cloud. Guarded by McDonald. Screen by Deladon. Clark outside. And here's Cloud. Fires the three. Howard with the rebound. Takes the three. Hits the three-point bomb. I love Howard's decision-making offensively, especially off the catch right there. Cloud outside. Pass to Clark. Here's Austin. Back to Clark. Deladon outside. Natasha Cloud from outside. And it's Ryan Howard with the rebound. McDonald with it. Now here is Hayes. Pass to Parker. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Let's go. And too long on the shot. And here's Washington. 22 was their biggest lead. Clark outside. Now Cloud. Elena Deladon on the wing. Clark jacks up a three. Here's Deladon. A beautiful reverse Elena layup. Deladon. Cleaning up. Elena Deladon is a smooth scorer who isn't afraid of some dirty work. And here's McDonald. So it's the Mystics winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them and an enemy territory, no less. It was enemy territory, but with the way that they controlled the game, they took the crowd completely out of it. That's how to get it done on the road. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.